monolithic core. The Maxim 9 from Silencer Co. is the world's first integrally suppressed 9mm pistol. It's shown in the long configuration here and comes in at 10.75 inches with a weight of 2 pounds 7 ounces. You can remove these couple baffles and put it into a short configuration which we'll discuss here in a minute. That brings the length down to 9.54 inches with a weight of 2 pounds 5 ounces. In both configurations, it's 1.58 inches wide and 5.41 inches tall. It features a 4.38 inch 1 in 10 twist fixed barrel. When you open the Maxim 9's packaging, the first thing you're going to see is a 17 round Magpul Glock compatible magazine and the Maxim 9 itself with a second magazine already in the firearm. If you pull the top layer of foam out of the way, you'll then find a pouch with some spare tools, parts, and rods to shorten the overall length of the Maxim, the obligatory lock, and lastly underneath everything is a very nice detailed instruction manual for the Maxim 9. With the technical aspects and unboxing out of the way, we'll go ahead and look at some of the finer details on the Maxim 9. As you may have noticed, it's currently equipped with a left-handed magazine release. Out of the box, it will be set up with a right-handed magazine release, but you can change that out depending on your personal preference. The slide controls are ambidextrous, and when pulling the slide back, you can see only this much moves. What that does is a couple things. One, it allows for the fixed barrel and the suppressor to function properly, but it also has most of the weight towards the back of the slide. When shooting it, it feels more like a traditionally unsuppressed pistol than a traditionally suppressed pistol. You don't have a lot of movement or weight in the front, so it's much more pleasant to shoot than, say, a Glock 17 with an Osprey on it. Also, with only this portion moving, when you're firing, the front sight, or RMR, as it is optic compatible, stays stationary on the target. So if you've got good control of the Maxim 9, it does allow for quicker follow-up shots. In the hand, the Maxim 9 allows you to get a fairly high purchase on the gun. While some people that may not be too important, it does allow better control over everything. So when you're firing this, it really feels like a very, very quiet, unsuppressed handgun. The motions are a little different than you may be used to, but definitely in a good way. Some other points of interest on the Maxim 9 are on top you can see it is milled from the factory to accept red dot optics such as the Trigicon RMR and it does come installed with factory three dot night sights. On the underside of the Maxim 9, there's a key mod section where you can mount rails to use things like flashlights or lasers on it. As stated before, the magazines that the Maxim is compatible with is everything that a Glock 17 is compatible with. Additionally, there will be a line of holsters from roughly four or more different companies that will accept the Maxim 9. Field stripping the Maxim 9 is a little bit different than other handguns, but it's not too difficult at all. There's a lever located on top of the handgun, and on the back there's a button. To field strip it, press that button in and lift that lever up. Once that's up, you simply slide this back, 
and then you're going to angle this up and it simply comes off. That'll give you access to everything you need to do to clean and maintain it just like a normal handgun. For reassembly, put this in at a slight angle. It'll rock forward and slide into place. Push it forward, depress that button with your thumb, and lock the top lever into place. It's very simple to pull apart and put back together again. The suppressor portion of the Maxim 9 is constructed similarly to the Salvo 12. So for any maintenance, or in this case, to change it to the short configuration, you'll start out by taking the provided Allen key and unscrewing these two pieces in the front. Once that's unscrewed, Pull these out and set it to the side, and then you can remove the baffle stack. To put it in the short configuration, go ahead and unscrew these two longer rods, and take the provided short rods and screw them into place. Once they're screwed in, we can start reassembling the baffle stack. So take the rearmost portion and put that on. With that on, you'll set these two baffles to the side and then put on the two baffles on the end. Once you're at that point, just reverse the process and screw everything back together. So now for the question that's on everybody's mind. When I came to work today, I didn't plan to record this video, so I just wore my everyday attire and I carried my SIG 320. But when we got here and decided to record the video, it was unexpected, as other things might be in everyday life. So can you use this for conceal and carry? Absolutely. It carries like a full-size gun. I didn't really find it any different than carrying my 320 or my 226 or a Glock 17. It is a big gun, there's no denying that, but it absolutely can be carried without much trouble. I'm a right-handed shooter, and this holster was designed for left-handed use. So, it's a little tough to judge how fast my draw stroke actually is, but I can say that my draw time with a left-handed Maxim 9 is pretty much on par with my left-handed draw of any other guns I regularly shoot. So it didn't hamper my ability to be used as a full-size carry gun at all. Taking a look at decibel reduction in the long configuration using a 147 grain American Eagle, the Maxim 9 had an average of 128.1 decibels, which puts it right on par with the Omega 9K. For reference, the Osprey 9 came in at 125.4 decibels. The Osprey 9 has a little bit fuller tone to it, but the Maxim 9 in the long configuration does sound fairly similar to the Omega 9K. The Maxim 9 in the short configuration, using the same 147 grain American Eagle ammo, had a 10 shot average of 138.0 decibels. Although it is approaching the OSHA safe 140 decibel threshold for impulse noises, it doesn't sound like 138 decibels. If I had to guess without using a meter, I would have guessed it's more around 135.
All in all, I think Silencer Co. accomplished exactly what they wanted to with the Maxim 9. In the short configuration, it's about the same size as a 1911 with a threaded barrel, and it's still shorter than a Glock 19 with an Omega 9K. During our evaluation, we were able to get malfunctions through two causes. One was very, very bad ammo and was obviously ammo related. The other one was due to a bad magazine. Aside from the magazine and the ammo related, the Maxim 9 ran flawlessly for hundreds of rounds when using proper magazines and good quality ammunition. We tested it with both supersonic and subsonic defensive rounds, as well as multiple different types of ball ammunition. If I had one negative thing to say about the Maxim 9, it's that you can get Mirage off the top of the handgun that obstructs the front sight just a little bit. We accomplished this by dumping a 33 round mag in quick succession after hundreds of other rounds had been fired in a very short time period. During a normal pistol class competition, defensive use, I don't think you're going to get the suppressor hot enough to develop that Mirage, but if you run it extremely, extremely aggressively, you can get a little bit of Mirage that makes the front sight difficult to put on target. If you have any questions or want more info on the Maxim 9 from Silencer Co., please feel free to call, email us, or stop on into the shop.